Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Paula Aponte with EXP Real Estate here in lovely Lakeland, Florida. And I am bringing you today Tuesday's tips. So before I get started, if you have not already done so, be sure to hit that little like button and subscribe button because every Tuesday I will be bringing you Tuesday's tips right here on YouTube and I don't want you to miss it. And if you happen to be a brand new agent, you're going to find these tips extremely helpful. If you're a seasoned agent, you most likely will still find these tips extremely helpful. So whether you're a new agent or a seasoned agent, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, so on with Tuesday's tips. What I have for you this time around is checklists. Checklists and contracts. So just to start off with, as far as the checklist goes, it will be extremely helpful to you, your business, your sanity, if you have a checklist of what documents are required when you have your very first contract that you're writing. Oftentimes, you know, we go out and we show houses and I would say that just about every time when I'm trying to think about it, just about every single time that I've gone out to do a contract, it's been at nighttime been in the evening. Usually I'm ordering dinner in with the family because I'm like, okay guys, I got a contract to take care of and you know, dinner's going to get delivered or something like that. Very, very rarely, I don't think ever actually, has it been like early in the morning, right? No. So late in the afternoon, maybe a couple times. In the evening, most of the time. So get yourself a checklist and have all of the documents that are required by you to get complete and to have your clients sign before sending it over to the other agent. Um, if you are not sure what documents are needed and you, know, you don't even know where to begin to create this checklist, then the first place that I suggest that you go is to your broker and ask. Secondly, you can also check in with your team lead or if you have a mentor or someone like that. I would imagine that each state is going to have their own requirements, but there are also some you know, pretty typical documents that you're going to need um, regardless of what state it is. I am going to be doing a video which is going to be called Contract to Close and that's going to be specific for Florida agents. And if you are not a Florida agent and you still want to tune in and watch it, definitely do so. I'm sure to give you at least your basic understanding of the documents. What I also suggest that you do, in addition to your checklist, is to practice using your uh, forms desk or whatever you're using, whether it's like ZipLogic, Transaction Desk, that's why I said Forms Desk. Um, think all of the different oh my gosh what is it called I'm having a some timers moment <laughs> I can't remember um, but there's different um, uh, tools or platforms that you use to create your documents depending on what brokerage company you're with or personal preference my personal preference has been transaction desk and so that's what I use um, but you wanna go ahead and create sort of like a dummy client where you go ahead and you give it a title, give it a, like a dummy name, even just call it practice, you know, buddy or whatever. And you wanna go ahead and create a, a um, contract for that. So do one for a buyer and do one for a uh, seller. And that will give you just the practice of going through it. You can even use your own house or your own address uh, to put in as the, so it's actual, there's an actual address and you can pull the data, um, like the tax ID number from your county record so that this way it's gonna really look like an actual contract. I think that if you go through the motions prior to actually having to go through it for a client, you will breathe easy because I remember my very first contract that I ever wrote. And my very first contract that I wrote was a little bit stressful. And I think I sat in front of my computer for a good hour just writing the contract. That's it. 
not any of the addendums or anything else that goes along with it, but just that contract. So I definitely suggest that you, that you do that. It will make your life just so much easier. And every contract that you write from here on out is going to be easier and easier, I promise. Um, but yeah, get yourself a checklist and create a dummy contract. So that's all I have today for Tuesday's tips. If you have not subscribed, click that subscribe button right now because I'm going to be back next Tuesday with Tuesday's tips. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.